Details or new developments rather overnight. The U.S. House passes a $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill, giving President Biden a major legislative victory. It's aimed at repairing our country's roads and bridges, along with improvements to broadband. John Hood joins us now to explain how this could benefit Central Virginia. This bipartisan bill, once signed by President Biden, will be the largest investment in the country's infrastructure in decades. While it took longer to get to this point than what legislators had hoped, billions of dollars will be invested into the Commonwealth over the next few years. When we hear the word infrastructure, we think about roads and bridges. According to provisions in the bill, Virginia should expect to see more than $7 billion for those projects, but there's also a lot more like expanding electric vehicle chargers. Over the next five years, the state will receive millions to build a network of chargers across the Commonwealth. Representative Abigail Spanberger, who voted for the bill, says internet connectivity is also a priority, with $100 million being allocated to help provide broadband coverage. Certainly throughout the pandemic, we saw so many families uh, accessing internet from parking lots and food lions and public schools and McDonald's across the region and making these incredible investments in broadband connectivity is going to be so important to our community. It's one of the reasons why I worked on creating this bill. The bill will also help low income families with internet costs. The Commonwealth will also receive more than $700 million towards updating water lines and providing clean drinking water to areas that are without the replacement of lead pipes and service lines, which is a significant issue in parts of the greater Richmond area. This morning, President Joe Biden celebrating the passing of the package. He's expected to visit areas where the bill will make an impact around the country and says some of those parts may see some of that money come in soon. You see the effects of the bill, this bill, probably starting within the next uh, two to three months as we get things, shovels and grounds and in the ground and people being told they're going to be working, doing the following things and things are going to move. It is a bill that's paid out over a number of years. President Biden is expected to sign the bill once lawmakers return to Washington after a one week recess. On your side, John Hood, NBC 12 News.